Good evening, folks. Well, today a media luncheon was held for the 69th annual Future Masters Golf Tournament at the Dothan Country Club. Tournament director Kevin Klein says this year's field will include more than 450 golfers representing 30 states and some nine countries. The Future Masters has gained worldwide attention for nearly seven decades. Some of the PGA greats have even started their careers on the links here at the Dothan Country Club. Dothan Mayor Mark Saliba says it's an incredible event and draws thousands of folks annually to the Circle City. We have it all here, and, uh, but of course for me, I love the fact that it's increased uh, uh, in sales revenue, sales tax revenue, and we're putting uh, uh, heads in beds and lodging tax revenue comes off of that as well. It's a huge economic boost for, uh, for our city. And Mayor Saliba says the event pumps in, as you just heard, tens of thousands of sales tax dollars into the Dothan and surrounding Wiregrass economy. The first round of the Future Masters gets underway in a little more than a week, Sunday, June 24th. And today's opening round of the U.S. Open in Southampton, New York, it was a tough day for some of the big names on the PGA Tour. The first round of the U.S. Open in Southampton on the leaderboard here on your screen. Several of these players are still on the links. Russell Henley is tied for the lead at two under with Doug Justin Johnson, of course, Johnson won the St. Jude Classic in Nashville last week. And there's a three-way tie for second at this time. Scott Piercy, Ian Poulter, and Jason Duffner are tied for second at one under. And Tiger Woods is one of the big names with a tough day in Southampton. Tiger announced there on the first round, but here he is on the hole. This is the first hole. Tiger's fourth shot comes up short. It would lead to a triple bogey seven. Tiger already three above par. Now moving to the fifth hole, Tiger, well, he does make a nice pitch, as you'll see right there. And he will eventually birdie this putt. In the old days, you would never count Tiger out. Not so sure this time around. We'll have to wait and see as the event progresses over this weekend. Today it was announced Headland baseball standout Chase Wilkerson is changing his choice for schools. A Florida State signee since last year, Wilkerson has announced that he is now plans to attend San Jacinto Texas Community College for next year. He is a state class 5A player of the year from the Alabama Sports Writers Association and the Dothan Eagle player of the year. Wilkerson believes will have an immediate impact as a player for San Jacinto. And in the surprise move on the prep scene today, New Brockton High School baseball coach Brad Barton announced that he's resigning from that position. Although he'll remain as a math teacher and assistant football coach at the school, Barton had success with the Gamecocks. He led the squad to 19 wins per season and five playoff appearances over the last five years. Barton's replacement is expected to be named leader this summer. And some first, well, I guess you could say some fisticuffs on the West Coast Wednesday night. Matt Kemp of the Dodgers heads home, and he, well, on the Enrique Hernandez base hit, he collides with Texas catcher that end at the plate, and before you know it, there is complete bench clearing, a brawl, and fortunately in these situations, uh, it looks like a lot of excitement and a lot of punching, but usually... Nobody is seriously injured, and that is always a good thing. And Ben, there's been clearing brawls in baseball, and, and sometimes it even looks comical. A lot of yelling and grabbing. Fortunately, as I say, very rarely anyone hurt. 